Hey YouTube, it's your girl, True Image, and uh, this is my very first hair review. I guess it can be considered a hair review. So, uh, I'm not a vlogger, blogger, not a professional by any means, and I'm not even certain that I will post this video, but I thought I would try because I want to tell you about this hair. Alright, what I have in my head is called Finger Comber. Um, it's kinky wefted hair, and it's sewn onto a wig cap. Uh, I did it. Um, the website www.fingercomber.com was um, where I was able to see the pictorial on how to do it myself. Um, they have a unit called the Finger Comber Unit, but it's always sold out, so I bought the wefted hair and followed their very um, thorough instructions on how to do my own wig and so that's what I did. So uh, I bought two bundles. They were $38 a bundle. I used almost all of the, the hair and I had a wig cap and a styrofoam head and a needle and thread and I just sewed the hair onto the cap in a circle until I got to the top. So I have very, very, very little leave out um, here, you can see that. But, um, other than that, one little piece of my own hair. Uh, this is all weave. I love this hair. It's uh, it's not human. It's synthetic. It's meant to mimic natural hair, and it does it beautifully. A couple of things with this hair. Um, there was some shedding, um, but not. Um, an insane amount, just enough to be annoying and to have to clean up around the sink, but um, for what I paid for the hair, it, it wasn't that bad. Did I mention how much the hair was? $38 a bundle, so really good. Um, I've had this hair now for six weeks. I don't know why I keep scratching my face, but anyway, six weeks, I love it. I uh, plan on wearing this hair probably for a total of six months and I can do that because I can wash it and condition it and um, I've done several washes on this hair as a matter of fact and it's held up really well um, I take it off every night put it on in the morning rewind that I did actually sleep in it one night um, this was early on in the hair so it's old now and maybe it wouldn't happen again if I decided to sleep on it but I did sleep on it and it got really flat and straight and I freaked out because I thought I wasn't going to be able to get the curls to pop back um, but they did come back um, it's not as springy as it was when I first bought it but that's okay because I actually prefer the state that it's in now which is partially why I felt compelled to do a video because I'm loving the hair today especially today um, I will tell you this though, if you do have pieces that get really, really straight, which I did in the front, you can use very small red, if you can see that, perm rods and rod the hair and then dip it in hot water and it will um, spring back to as close a match as it can to the original curl pattern. Caution though, and I learned this the hard way, don't use scorching hot, fresh off of the oven boiling water. Because when you do that, you basically destroy the hair. I did that on a couple of pieces and it got dry and hard and crunchy and it wouldn't get soft and I actually had to cut those pieces out. So that was kind of sad, but if you do it the right way, these are the rods to use. Um, I have some gray ones. Yeah. The gray ones are too big. So stay away from these. Use these. I'm trying to think if there are any other tips I want to share with you regarding this hair. I've done twist outs on it. Um, the twist outs were pretty cool. But again, I'm like I said, I'm very partial to the kinky look. And so I didn't want to it to look like a twist out so I wore it for a day and then co-washed it to kind of get it to 
to kink back up. As far as my maintenance, I have a water bottle. And inside the water bottle, I have some coconut oil. And so, that's it. So I spray my hair. Oh. <laughs> With that, and um, it softens it up and it makes it smell good and helps the kinkiness pop a little bit. And then it's good for the whole day. So that's it. Again, it's fingercomber.com, www.fingercomber.com. This is the kinky wefted hair. Two bundles. Um, we'll, we'll get the job done. Sewn onto a wig cap. And I love the hair. It's really, really good. So I recommend you try it. Um, if you're looking to do a protective style with um, the natural look and you don't want to spend, you know, $138 on human hair, you want to try it out first with this um, synthetic, uh, I highly recommend it. Now, I probably will step up my game and try some human hair um, later on in the year. And when I do, I will try to, to have a tutorial of the process so it's not just me talking about the hair for five minutes. You actually get to see what I did to create the look. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit closer so you can see. And the back. I hope the back looks good because I haven't looked at it today. But I have no idea what you're seeing, but hopefully it's cute. <laughs> All right, so this is my first video. I feel like I was looking at myself more than the camera. I apologize. This is my first time. Uh, I don't have very many followers. So if you are following me, you know, be sure to like it. And if you want to comment, please be kind. I'm real sensitive. And um, God is love. Peace.